Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about the live action Powerpuff Girls series. Remember that? Mm-hmm. Do you remember that? Oh, I can't forget it. Yeah, very, very bad idea. They canceled it. Thank God it yeah. was a mercy killing. People are probably like, wait, what? It came out? No, they canceled it. No, they canceled it. Was it was awful. But the, uh, the showrunner is out there now because she has a new movie out. And I think NDA is up. The NDA is up, and now they're going to talk about what went wrong with it. Uh, everything. Everything went wrong with it. We'll, we'll talk about the backlash. I don't know what the hell they were thinking. They were going to basically Riverdale, the Powerpuff Girls. Not a good idea. Really not a good idea. Now, apparently now they're bringing the show back with Craig McCracken in charge, a new animated version. That's what that's what I uh, heard. I, oh, so when they were kids. Yes, when they're kids. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he didn't like this version either. He was he was not happy with it. He didn't like this, and he didn't like the uh, 2016 version. So you know what I'm saying. But when you when you sell a show to a company like Cartoon Network, you don't know what's going to happen to it. Like we could get a weird ass live action Steven Universe someday. I hope it happens. I do too. too. I hope. I so. hope it happens. I do. I really do. Anyway, let's talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. You get woohoo if you do. Woohoo! This has come from the rap geek he found it this morning. Uh, Diablo Cody. Is that really her name? Diablo uh, Cody? Who knows? I don't know. Sounds like a username. Diablo Cody was really bummed. Live action Powerpuff Girls series got scrapped. We wanted to do something kind of weird. Yeah. No. <laughs> you did. No. Yeah. We're going to. She made some comments, and I was like. No. No. It would have probably been easier to do a straight live action adaptation of the existing show. She said, yeah, it was too far removed from the Powerpuff Girls. Now, for those of you who don't... So far removed. For those of you who don't remember, God, it just looks cringy. For those of you who don't remember, they were basically going to take the Powerpuff Girls, age them up, tart them up, uh, and Riverdale the shit out of this that they were now young ladies who uh, like to fuck a lot, as I understand it, and they'll fuck anyone, uh, sugar, spice, and everything nice. And uh, yeah, they were going to make a more adult Powerpuff Girls show, and this was a terrible, terrible, terrible idea. Mm -hmm. Nobody liked it, but uh, it was going to be edgy. Well, they, that's the thing. I think edgy means exactly everything you described. It doesn't mean that. Yeah. Uh, Chloe Bennett tried to save her career. She she jumped ship right after the yeah. pilot was filmed. They tried to fix the. I remember they tried to fix the pilot. Now, this is for the CW, and the CW basically got disemboweled. It got sold off for, I think, zero dollars. I think it was I zero dollars. So. I know they did. They, they, they shifted it to somebody else. But it's funny to me that with this show, though, I remember the reason they canceled it finally after that backlash when people got the scripts leaked and everything else. We're going to talk about that. Um, was because they said it was the, the pilot was too campy. Yeah. <laughs> no shit. What? Yeah. So she's talking to the rap ahead of Lisa Frankenstein. I did not realize that was her. Actually, Pinky Boo was kind of interested in that. Um, but that's going to be coming out in a week. So of course they have to bring it up. Like, hey, Diablo Cody, we remember you. You're the you're the idiot that came up with the idea for the Powerpuff Girls live action movie. Uh, she said there were honestly a lot of issues. It's a bummer. I was really bummed out about it. I wasn't. I was happy. Is it uh, Heather Rainier and I who created it together? We were very, very excited about that show. That makes two people. It didn't pan out. And sometimes things just don't. I mean, to be honest, like most of the time, things don't. That's actually true. I can, can tell you from people who have been doing this kind of stuff for years around different industries like comics, animation, that kind of stuff for years. A lot of times things don't pan out. There's a lot of money wasted on things that don't pan out, but there, that's another story. Yeah. I mean, it's amazing how much money, and we, we've been down this road ourselves, how much money Hollywood throws at uh, optioning things that they never actually greenlight, or even if they greenlight a pilot, they don't actually greenlight the series. Or Hollywood will be, they'll throw money to, to you know, option something just to keep it to off the table. Yep. So that they can put something else that's similar to it out. Yeah, because they, like don't want, they don't want to compete. Yeah, that, we've had experience with that. They don't want a, a competitor to come up with something similar, mm -hmm. right? So they'll, they'll be like, oh yeah, we'll option it. We'll tie it up for five years. And then that five years time, our thing will come out. This has happened to comic book people so many times. Mm -hmm. There was the one uh, guy, I, I can't remember. I think it was uh, the guy who did Delilah Dirk, which was a web comic and they published the comic. And he was all excited that Disney optioned his stuff. And I remember thinking to myself, I'm like, no, 
oh, my dear, sweet summer child. They did that just to sit on Delilah Dirt because it was very similar to Indiana Jones, which they own, and they probably don't want a Delilah Dirt Well, I'm Dirk sure it's been released there. now. That was oh, years sure. ago, and they never sure. did anything with it. Shocker. Um, nothing against Delilah Dirt. I'm saying no, we no, we I think it's a very good we comic. I do. I think it's a good comic. We thought, you know, that we. What they were probably optioning it for was not the. They were going to go in a different direction. If it had been five years later, they probably would have done it. They probably would have gone all in because a female-led Indiana Jones like adjacent type thing. They would have, but at the time they optioned it, that wasn't all the rage. It was a few years before 2014. So um, anyway, they're talking about uh, little is known about the plot. That's not true. The scripts out there. Yeah, we um, have it. <laughs> beyond a log line at the time that it was set to follow heroines Blossom, Bubbles, and Buttercup as the disillusioned twenty somethings who resent having lost their childhood to crime fighting. But apparently, it was about more than just losing their younger years. Their virginity. Well, that, that apparently comes oh. up a lot too. Okay. <laughs> so the idea was that the Powerpuff Girls were adults, and they were really disillusioned because they felt that they had almost always had almost been exploited. Wait, had almost been exploited. They were like child stars when they were young superheroes. And so they hadn't really used their powers in years. And then Townsville was under attack once again, and they realized they had to get over their differences and reunite. So the Umbrella Academy, basically. It's the Umbrella Academy. But uh, it gets better. Okay. <laughs> Cody notes that it was it was fun to write about the trio at this age and figure out how they'd handle Gen Z problems. Oh, my God. Nobody but wants that, that. It's by somebody who's nowhere near Gen Z. But that it did make things harder in terms of getting the show out of the gate. Um, and then they talked about Craig McCracken didn't like the show. No. I think just in general, making the Powerpuff Girls adults was a challenge because it would have probably been easier to just do a straight live action adaptation of the existing show. But we want to do something kind of weird. Yeah, and it was weird. Uh, it seems the weirdness didn't translate for the network executives, though. Uh, Mark Pedowitz. Which we laughed about multiple yeah. times. Uh, he saw he uh, he saw the pilot. He thought it was too campy. They were going to redo it, and uh, it's just it wasn't going to work. But but this next comment that was what sums it up for me. Okay, Cody added that like with any beloved piece of IP, there's a fan service involved, and trying to make fans of the original happy definitely adds a whole layer of difficulty to it. It was tricky to navigate. Nobody wanted this. Diablo <sighs> Cody. No one wanted Nobody. it. Fans were like, what the hell is this? It was different, tricky. No one wanted it. Like, literally, everybody was mocking the hell out of this. Nobody wanted it. I mean, we've got, I mean, people were trying to make it out like, you're just against the Powerpuff Girls being gay because some of them are gay now. Oh, well, no, because that's what they always do. Butter, I think it was, was it Buttercup that was gay? I don't remember. I don't know. They, 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 you know, here's the thing. At this point, you know, if there's, they're going to do an IP, they're going to take an IP that exists and they're going to redo it. I just automatically, you know, no, there's going to be a race swap, a gender swap. Someone's now LGBTQ for no reason and all that stuff. Yeah. So they said when the, the script leaked and we'll talk about that because she, she said that, uh, there were multiple versions of the script that were leaked. And well, we all know which one it was, if it was real or not. No, actually it was real because people posted pages, some of the cringier dialogue from it. And it got taken down. So it totally was real. When they do that shit, you know it's real. But thankfully, the entire script, <laughs> the February 9th, 2021 revision, is still out there on the Internet Archive. So here's some of the lines from this script. This is like the beginning of an episode. So yeah, it starts out with a uh, fast forwarding. We have a uh, teenage buttercup texting her girlfriend until 3 a.m., she thinks I'm seeing other girls blossoms because you are. So not just LGBTQ, but LGBTQ plus skank. Yeah, plus cheer. Um, so apparently she's like skanky and they talk about drinking. They talk about, you know, hungover. Bubbles is passed out on the floor, hungover. So they're, yeah. So nobody wants to see the Powerpuff Girls being highly this, dysfunctional as washed up child stars. This sounds like a Saturday Night Live skit. It does. Um, so they said they talk about, like, where were you at all night for, for Bubbles? He broke into the zoo again and he made the flamingos drink hypnotique, not whatever. And then she kind of. You're a big drinker, aren't you, Geeky? Yeah, not, I'm not. Just, Such a um, lush. So they're talking about the getting suited up. And then I'm not wearing that buttercup. I'm not wearing that dress anymore. It's compulsory, compulsory heterosexuality. Oh, my God. Because don't you know, if you are, if you aren't straight and you're a woman, you don't like dresses. <laughs> um, Dad freaks out if we do anything off model. He treats us like we're a product he developed. No one talks like this. But technically he did. He made you in a lab. So, oh, that'll be the next thing. They'll undo that. They'll just be like, no, he was just like a deadbeat dad. You like 
kidnapped them or something and told everybody he made them <laughs> or some stupid this shit. This goes on. They're talking about like the, she's smelling her clothes because the crystal deodorant didn't work. Oh my crystal God. Crystal deodorant doesn't really work though. I mean, I haven't used it in years, but I tried it once and no. But they go on. There was different. There's comments like this the whole way through it. It was like, you can go find it for yourself. Yeah, I, I will actually put a link in the comments and I'll pin it if you want to go out and look at this train wreck of a script. It, it's real. It is real because they, they took it down. But again, it doesn't matter now because the CW is effectively dissolved at this point. They've And this thing is deader than dead. And this is going to be one of those uh, weird ass what ifs, just, just like Kevin Smith's Superman. What if? Kevin Smith made Superman with Nick Cage. People wondered for years. We got a little bit of that in the flash. And, and well, they didn't do it justice. <laughs> they did not do it justice, to be honest. It looked like they did it just to be as a joke. As a joke. Yeah. Actually, Nick Cage didn't like that. He didn't. He was like, I was all like AI, CGI. Like, what the hell? I wanted to be Superman. I named my kid after Superman. Why can't I be Superman? I'm sorry, Nick Cage. Uh, you can't. But everybody thought this was a disaster. Um, there's so many drafts, so many different versions of scripts by the time they go into production. Well, that is true. It's possible what leak was maybe, I mean, I guess it could have been the shooting script, but also could just be a remnant from development. But you did, wait, 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 you guess. I guarantee you look to see what was leaked. There's I'm no way sure. in flipping hell you didn't. There's scripts like you, the first thing that someone's a showrunner is going to do is go look and see if it's the actual script. The fact that they're, that the way she's wording this tells me it was the actual script. I don't know. I didn't pay attention. Bullshit. She's that means it was the actual script. Playing it really cool, but I think she somebody from the production leaked that script. Cause this because they were like, oh my God, people are gonna have a fit. Let's 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 kill this thing now. Wait, let's kill it now. I don't know because I also wrote I wrote a half an hour version. I wrote an hour version. It was at a streamer, then it was at CW. So it's like there was a lot of iterations to live action Powerpuff Girls. Yes, I believe there can be a lot of iterations because you write the script multiple times, you change the story. But you'd be able to look at the script, which I guarantee you they did. Oh, the script's leaked. The first thing they're gonna do is go look. Which they one would is know it? exactly which one it was. Well, the fact he, that they won't address that you know, directly tells me which one. When it was. Yeah, it's the February 9th, 2021 revision. Which would have been a C CW script. Powerpuff Girls CW script. Identifier. Yep, there it is. Uh, I just don't remember. I don't remember. Well, shit. I guarantee you, if I was writing a show and the script got leaked, I would be, it would be my job, for one, to go check the script that was leaked and see if it was one we were using and what was leaked. So yep. I could do damage control, get yep. it to the people who do it. It'd be my job. So saying you don't know tells me you did know. Because there's no way you didn't know. Yeah, they're, uh, yeah, they're, she's playing it cool. I, I think it was devastating for, I mean, personally, I think it was because this was like a big, high profile thing and it was a huge clusterfuck. Last, we see, last comment. I would not be surprised that there's a live action Powerpuff Girls show at some point, but they probably won't hire me to do it again. Well, I hope to God they wouldn't. What? <laughs> Shocker. And let me guess, is Lisa Frankenstein a lesbian? I, I don't know. Um, they're talking about this weird love story, shocking love story. No. no to do. She's a good, I'm surprised. It actually doesn't look bad. It looks to, I, I mean, from what I saw the trailer, I mean, this is, this so is the thing. she make a man so she could be in a Yeah, I think so. Okay, that's actually funny. It actually reminds me of something that would have been made in the late 80s, early 90s. It does. Tim, By the, even the film, the way the film is. Yeah, I mean, very like Tim Burton-esque, right? And I actually like those kind of movies. And our daughter saw the trailer and she's like, oh, it looks I'll have to watch the trailer for this later. And so basically, basically, if you can't find the man you want, you make the man you want. <laughs> so. That's where I came from. I told right. you I'm an AI. People don't believe me. Right. Uh, she made Mr. Right. Uh, that was, I, most people don't know what that movie is. They don't get don't that reference. Because we're old. Uh, yeah, that was yeah. a movie. John Malkovich I, was I a I don't like John Malkovich. Sorry, that's probably an unpopular off. opinion. Yes, I remember that. We were like, we were kids, though. That was that one. Oh, yeah, yeah. We were like kids. I remember being, I was like, what? I vaguely remember anything back, except I would usually catch the end of it on HBO, and it was like Happy Together be playing. Yes. His, John Malkovich sailed off into space. Robo, yeah, Robo John wanted, Malkovich. Because, no, no, no. No, the robot one stayed with her. The real one went oh, to space. Right. Because he doesn't that's like right. to be around people. So they made a robot version of him to go to space because they need it was going to be a long voyage. And it ended up the robot fell in love with the girl and he stayed behind. And then the real one that was supposed to stay on Earth went instead. Oh, that's right. That's right. Because okay, he, doesn't like, he doesn't time. like being around people. Well, that's what happened to me. So I'm the robot version. The real me went to space a long time ago. That's why they call me space. They call me space dad. No, no one calls you that. <laughs> anyway, are we gonna are we gonna wrap up this video? I think yes. So guess what? Video. Powerpuff Girls sucked. It so they, sucked. They, they they canceled it. Thank and God. Diablo Cody basically, you know, was like, yeah, they tried to go weird with it. 
Yeah, never go full weird. We're seeing a lot of a lot of companies walking it back. They're all walking it back now. They're like, yeah, we went a little too far, didn't we? Went a little too far and things got a little too weird. Let's rein it in next time. Gonna wrap it up. Mm -hmm. Please subscribe. We'll talk later. Bye.